Hello guys, welcome back to Tina Do Children Law Update Family. Thank you all so much for pulling up and supporting this channel. We're really grateful. You're all amazing. Did you know you are required to obtain information from Ofsted when seeking to place a child with an individual or when placing a child for adoption? The Child Care Act 2006 and the Child Care open brackets, supply and disclosure of information, close brackets, England Regulation 2007, sets out when Ofsted must give a fostering or adoption agency information about a registered early years provider for the purpose of protecting children from harm or neglect. This means that if a fostering or adoption agency, whether run by a local authority or otherwise, makes a written request to Ofsted, for information about an early years registered provider, they must provide certain information and comply with data protection obligations when doing so. The Education and Inspection Act 2006 states that when carrying out its activities, Ofsted is to have regards to the needs to safeguard and promote the welfare of children. This Act also allows Ofsted to advise and assist other public authorities. This means that while their obligation to share information under the uh, already mentioned regulation, that's the 2006 Act and the 2007 regulation, the Act um, allows Ofsted to advise and assist other public authorities. They may also be able to share information with fostering and adoption agencies or local authorities about people known to them in another capacity. An example of this would be when an applicant is not currently registered with Ofsted as an early years provider but is registered in a children's social care role or is otherwise known to them. Again, Ofsted must comply with the data protection obligation when sharing any, any information. Fostering and adoption agencies and local authorities must assess the suitability of foster carers and adopters. They must comply with the relevant regulations when doing so. If you are a local authority, fostering service or adoption service, you should complete a particular form to find out uh, whether Ofsted holds information on an individual applying to A, to foster or adopt with your service or local authority, B, for approval as a connected stroke kinship carer or special guardianship carer. You will need a separate form for each individual and may require their consent. Once Ofsted receives this form, they will tell you if the individual is known to them and may provide information that they believe is proportionate and necessary to share. You may use the information to assess the suitability of the individual. A link to this particular form is provided in the comments below. This titbits has been provided to you by Teenage Children Law Updates to enable cross cooperation between various agencies and, they, and ensure that children are properly safeguarded to ensure that they have a proper childhood. Please let me know what you think about this titbits in the comments below. And if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please make sure you do so. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.